All right, the Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. This arrangement comes from the first movement of the sonata. The sonata is number 14. He composed it in his early 30s, which means at this time he was deaf. This particular arrangement I put in A minor. The original one's in C sharp minor, and it was definitely a challenge making this arrangement. On the piano, you have two hands that you can use to play notes. On the guitar, basically you just have the one hand for fretted notes. We begin with an A minor chord. With the right hand, you have these triplets. Now what I do with my right hand is I go thumb and index here, and then middle, ring, and then after that one I shift my right hand over and I go thumb. So again it goes like this. Second measure you're going to do the same thing except for the pinky is going to go to the third fret on the sixth string. go to the F major chord, but I don't play the full F. I keep my third and fourth fingers off and then use my middle finger there. So I go, and then I put my third finger down. And then we have a bar at three and the third finger is going to go to the fifth fret on that fourth string. And then we're going to go here. This is an E7 chord with the pinky down. But again, not playing the full chord, so I won't put the full chord down. A minor. And then you hit the sixth string, take off the first finger, creates an A minor sus, and then... So that measure slowly goes... And so that ends the introduction before the melody comes in. This piece is in what's called sonata allegro form, which means that you have an A section, a B section, and then you have a return to the A section, but that return will be a little bit different. Within the A section, you have different key changes that are typical, and I will talk about them as we get there. So here's measure five. We have A minor chord. And the melody comes in. Now this is interesting, throughout he has this triplet figure, which we're in cut time, which is the same thing as 2-2 as two, two time, which is simple time, but we have these triplets throughout which are more compound time. So we have a mix of compound, and when the melody comes in, that's a simple time figure. So you have this three against two thing that's really interesting. Technically how I would play it is we do have the triplets at the end of that third note, you have the 16th note in the melody. Slowly it goes like this. So again, so here's what the rhythm looks like with the melody. It's going to go ta 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 ta, ta 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 ta, ta 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 ta. So again, so that line beginning at measure three sounds like this. I would do with the triplets is make sure that they are quiet. So make sure that they are quieter than the melody. So measure six we have, we're going to start with this form. We have third finger, fourth finger on the fourth fret, and then second finger on the third fret. So it's, and then the first finger goes out. And keep those triplets quiet. A minor. do with the D minor the pinky down instead of the third finger because third finger so the because part of it was because of the third finger you're gonna use that that here and if you're here like this for D minor you have to kind of you have to reach around to get it but if you have your pinky there you, you're all set so measure eight we have a C chord except our G is gonna be in the bass so 
we're going to have a third finger up on the sixth string. So you've got. And then we're going to go here. I do keep this middle finger down. And then you go. So slowly that measure goes. And then C chord. So I mentioned the Sonata Allegro form. Generally, you're going to modulate. Uh, you start in whatever key you start in, you're going to modulate uh, during that first section. And that's what he's done here. We've started in A minor. And then we've gone to the relative major, which is C major. So by the time we hit measure nine, we are firmly in the key of C major. Uh, so I'm going to play seven, eight, and nine. So you can hear that change where it goes from A minor, D. Now we start going to C. measure 10 he switches to C minor so I lay a bar down at the fifth fret pinky goes to the eighth fret and then my middle finger goes to the sixth fret on the fifth string so you have this the melody note comes in here and I go third finger pinky then we're gonna to switch to this and this is a case where I just put the fingers down that I need them. So I keep my first finger down and my third finger down. And then I put my middle finger down. And then I put my pinky down. So I go like this. And then the third finger goes here. So you're going to go. And again, as you're playing it, make sure that you keep the melody louder than the accompaniment. So if I do those last two measures of that line, I might go. All right, then if you look at measure 12, uh, this I've always found this to be a really interesting measure. You, you start off with an A. A flat major chord and you're gonna hit the sixth string the fifth and the second string so now what I do is I keep these fingers down and I just move my first finger down to the third fret on the sixth string so you have this so you're going from here and then we're gonna do a bar at one with the middle finger down on that second fret sixth string so you then you're gonna go third finger another this is another case where I'll put the bar down plus this finger and then I'll put my third finger down so you got this so together that little that, those three beats go then we're gonna go here all right so let's start at measure 13 we've got that G minor chord go here and then and then here and then here and then here now this is where uh, doing a guitar arrangement can be kind of difficult because I'm Ideally, you want to do that triplet figure each note on its own string so it can ring. But because of guitar being narrow and just not enough room to do everything that needs to be done, sometimes you have to do what you what I did the second half of measure 13, where those triplets are, some notes are on the same string. So what I really try and do is keep those soft and try and let them ring as much as I can. So I might go... try and bring that that melody note out all right measure 15 we have G minor again so we have this and then it goes G major and then you hit the fourth and the first string so that measure goes and then 
we have a bar at four. Second finger and third finger are gonna be kind of smushed together. You can see that here. And you're gonna hit the fourth string. And then third, second. So you got. And then you have to let go for the second half of the measure. So you've got this. Third finger, second finger, second finger. So you've got this. So one more time, like this. And then a bar at two, second finger is going to be at the third fret on the fifth string. So you can, and then pinky, third finger. So it's another case where I'll put this down and then I'll put these, these down. So you've got, and then G major. So measure 16 and 17 slowly sound like this. Measure 18 is the same as measure 16. And then back to G major. And then we're going to go down to here. So you got that. And you have this. And you have the C sharp. So you've got. And then open third. Third finger goes down. Second finger is already there. So I could just keep that middle finger down. So I'll go. And then here. And then. And then you have this. First finger. And then open first string. So this is another one of those spots, uh, the guitar arrangement, where um, you have to make certain decisions that, like that half note is supposed to ring. Uh, the top note here is supposed to ring for two beats but I have to fit in that open first string in there. So I try and let it ring as much as possible and then I play that open first string very quiet so as a listener you understand that that note is an accompaniment note and not a melodic note. So something like this. So again, try to do as quiet as I can those open first strings. And then we're gonna go to here. D minor with third finger here. So that measure is going to go. And then your pinky is going to get act as a guide finger to here, plus second finger there. Open, and then the first finger. And then you're going to come down to here. So slowly it's going to go. you're gonna go there. So I do try and keep this, again, ringing as much as I can before I have to hit the open second. First finger, open second. Open. So slowly. And then we're gonna go here. Open five. Again. First finger, pinky, first finger. So it's so slowly that measure goes. Then we're going to go open four. Third finger, second finger, back to the fourth string. Pinky. So I'm just keeping each finger down as I put it down. And then first finger. So you have this. Now we're going to go up to the fifth position. Do these octaves. Pinky is going to be just underneath the third finger. Second finger will be here. This is a D minor chord. Just without the bar. So you have this. So we're going to start with a, a bar covering the first two strings and the 
at the fifth fret. So you have this, and then keep the pinky down, and you're going to add the third finger to the fourth fret on the third fourth string. Excuse me. So you're going to go, keep the pinky down, third finger. Once the third finger goes down, I lift up my bar. You hit the fourth string, open first, second string. So again, it's. And then you lay up the, then you have to lay that bar down again. Pinky. So it's. So slowly that measure goes like this. Now we're going to go to a D minor chord as a bar chord. Then we're going to shift up to the seventh fret, lay a bar. First finger goes to the ninth fret on the second string. Third string, third finger goes down. So it's, and then we're going to go to the fifth fret, three, two. So we're here, here, and now we're going to go there. And so you're also going to put the third finger down on the seventh fret, third string, and then take off the pinky, second string, third string. First string, second, third, first. Pinky goes back down, third, open. So again, slowly. So slowly, this line goes like this. Measure 27, we have, we're here. So eighth fret, and then we have second finger, pinky. Third finger. So again, it's. And again, I'll just put the fingers down as I need them. Seventh fret, third finger, second. So you got. Bar at five, middle finger is going to go to the sixth fret. Pinky, so slowly. So slowly that measure goes like this. Measure 28, you're going to have the G sharp plus G sharp here. Keep the first finger down, take off the pinky. Second finger, like that. So you have this. Now we're going to go to the third position. First finger, pinky, second finger. So that measure slowly goes. Now we're going to go open, sixth string. First finger again here, second finger, third finger, open, and then half bar at five, open six, pinky, take off the pinky. Now we're going to form this, three and two. First finger goes here, first finger goes back to the second fret on the third string. So those two measures, 30 and 31, sound like this.
have this little arpeggio that happens. Um, we're going to hit the open sixth string, third finger, third fret, open, third fret on the fourth string, open, first finger, third finger. And what I'll do is I'll keep my fingers down as long as I can just to let the notes ring. So you have open, second string, and then back to the third string, and then pinky, open second, one, three, pinky on the fourth fret. So slowly that measure goes. Now we're going to go to uh, an A minor chord in arpeggiate. So I start with an A minor, open sixth string, third string, fourth, second, third, open first, and then we have that. So slowly it's going to go. Well then I cover the first two strings at the fifth fret. And then pinky will go here, take off the pinky, open. So you have this. All right, measure 34. We're going to start with one and two. So first finger is on the fourth fret, second string. Middle finger is on the fifth fret, third string. So you're going to go open six, second string, third string. And then I just take this and move it up to the seventh fret. So you've got this. And then I go to here. So I'm at the fifth fret with this one, uh, seventh fret with this one. So you can go like this. And then what you're gonna do is I'm gonna move it one fret past where the third finger is. So I'm gonna move it to here. And then hit those notes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Hit one fret past wherever the third finger is. And go there. And then pinky is gonna go up to the 12th, 13th, 14th fret. So if I play that measure slowly, it goes like this. Now we're going to do something similar in the next measure, except we're going to start off 1-3 here. So I'm in the fourth position. And then again, I'm going to, I'm going to, so this is, I'm going to aim one fret past where my third finger is. So you've got this, you can go there. Then I'm going to go one fret higher. And again, one fret, and again, one fret. And then I do a harmonic here. So I do it with my right hand, like you do it as an artificial harmonic. So you've got this. All right, so after that harmonic, we are gonna hit the G sharp, which is up here at the 16th fret. And then we're going to go down to the 10th fret, up to the 13th, down to the 7th, up to the 10th. So again, you've got this. And then I stay here in this position. I go, my, my third finger is going to be here. And then I move this down to the 4th fret, and then down to the 3rd fret and then open second, pinky goes to the third fret, first fret, open second, third finger goes here, open, second finger on the fifth string, open, open five, open five, open four, third finger. So slowly those two measures sound like this. Measure 38, we've got this, first finger, open four, and I do keep that first finger down, just let it ring, and I'm using all thumb, after the after I hit this, I go sixth string and third string, then I do all thumb, so I go, then we're going to go 
second finger, third fret, fourth string, and then open five, open four, third fret, fourth string. So that's going to go. So one thing you may have noticed is that um, throughout this section and, and from a few of the measures before, that it's kind of unstable. Like he's been changing keys, we're hitting notes that are not, you know, what in key that we're in, that we're currently in. This is called the development phase of the sonata allegro form. So you have this A section which presents the key, the main key, as well as the melodies, and then we modulated, and then we've gone through a section where we're modulated to different keys and we're also having these arpeggios. So this is very much in the development section um, of this piece. So the next section after, after that is going to be the recap, which basically repeats the first section with some minor changes here and there. And you'll recognize that we're, com we're coming up to it fairly soon, so where the, the opening will, will come back. So, uh, if we take a look at measure 39, we have something similar to 38. So that's the same as what we had measure 38. Now we're gonna go first fret here, open. And this is the same. Now it's gonna change. We're gonna go first finger there. And then I use my second finger on that second fret. Open five, third finger. So that second half of that measure goes. All right, in the measure 41, we're gonna do this. So I do a bar at two, and I have my pinky down and my, my middle finger down is gonna be on that third fret, fourth string. So you have, keep the bar, but take off the pinky. And then we have an E major. And it turns into an E7 chord. So you just take off the third finger, and now we're back to A minor. And this is the same as measures five through eight. So the next few measures are just a repeat. same as what we had in the beginning measures five through eight and if you look at measure 46 this is where it changes again all right measure 46 we have a C chord now you just take your pinky and put it on that third fret and I always hear this section is very soft and quiet um, compared to what we've just had we've, we were in minor key we were got these arpeggios going up and down uh, and now we reach this kind of very sort of reflective, quiet section. So I do try and play it. I'll play it more dulce, um, closer to the bridge. So you have this type of thing. Keep the pinky down. Second finger goes here. This is a bit of a stretch. Like I try and keep all my fingers down as much as I can. And then I take off the pinky and go to the first fret. So you've got this for the melody, and then take off that pinky. Now you're going to cover two of the strings, bar at three. You're going to go like this. Pinky goes down, first string. So it goes like this. So those two measures, beginning at measure 46, sound like this. Measure 48, we're going to do a C chord. Here's the C chord right here. So you got this, you're going to hit the fifth and the first string. And then make sure that middle finger's down. Then we're going to go here. Second finger, open first. So you got this. And then a half bar at five. 
So that measure slowly goes like this. All right, now we're gonna go here. So you got first finger there, pinky is right here. Third finger, and again, try and keep this down if you can. If you can't, then obviously lift it up. But you've got this, take it off the pinky, second string, third string, first string. So it's... Then we've had this chord before. Second finger goes to the sixth fret plus open four. Third finger, first finger, pinky. And again, I'll put everything down just when I need it. And then we're going to go fourth fret, pinky, second finger. And then your third finger is going to go on that sixth fret. So you've got this. So that measure, measure 51, slowly sounds like this. And then I do a half bar at five. Third finger. Now, so this is an A minor chord right here. Here's the full A minor. We're just playing part of it. Now we're going to add the middle finger and turn it into a major chord. So you've got this. We had something similar in the in the beginning of the piece where we had a G major, where we had a G minor chord, and then it turns into a major. So it's, we're in that same section of the piece, except now we're, as I mentioned, we're in the recap, and so uh, we have a transposition going on. So again, measure 51 slowly. All right, do a, I do a half bar at six? Middle finger goes there, second string. Open four. Third finger goes there on the fifth string. Like that. So you have this. And then open four plus fourth fret on the first string. Like that. So you're going to go. So that measure slowly goes like this. Half bar, middle finger down. This is that A major chord again. And then third finger goes down. This is a repeat. All right, so let's take a look at measure 55. First half of it, we have this A major thing going on. And then we're going to just take these two fingers and move them down a string. And we hit the open four. Now I do then lift the bar. I move it up to the make sure it covers the fourth string. So you got this. And then it goes down to this. We've some, we've seen this we've seen this before. First finger. Now we're gonna do a five six bar, cover five of the six strings, third and fourth fingers go down. All right, measure 57, we're pushing on home. We've been in C major for a little bit here, um, also with the A major chord, so we're kind of modulating, changing keys, um, but we're, we're heading back to A minor and then the final part of the piece. So if you take a look at measure 57, you're gonna go, I use my second finger there, plus open five. First finger. This is another case where I will make sure that the melody note, which is this note, is loud. And then when I go, I'll make sure that open string is as low as I can make it. Because again, it's just supposed to be an accompaniment note. And then we go here. Open second, pinky goes down. And then you're gonna go here. Open second, first finger goes down. And then open five and open one. So slowly that measure goes. And then open, two and one. One and four. 
second finger, open second string. I keep this down, open four, third, second, and then keep that down again. Keep that middle finger down, you're gonna go open six, open one. First finger goes down. So for that whole measure, and the beat before this measure, you can keep that middle finger down. So if I start at the fourth beat of measure 57, we have this. So notice that middle finger is just staying down. Then I go A minor, and then just first finger here. Measure 60, we are going to do an A minor chord and we're going to hit the 5th and then the 2nd string. Alright, so now this figure that we've had in the top voice, we're now going to have in the bottom. So you've got this. So if you look at my right hand, I'm going like this. All right, so after that, you're going to go third finger. We've had this chord. It was on the first page of the sheet music. Um, we have this. So now just take off your third finger and do that bass. Then we have an A minor. I cover two of the strings at the fifth fret. And then I just take my bar and move it up to the 8th fret. And then we have this. Again, that bass line we have. And then I'll move this down. That third finger is just going to act as a guide finger to the 9th fret. First finger goes down. And then slowly it goes like this. So 6 to 9 and then three to six, open the third fret, third finger, and then we have, let's see, open six, second finger, open four, so you have that same bass line again, so you have, so slowly measure 63 sounds like this. exact same A minor measure we had before. So measure 62 is the same as 64. And this is the same as measure 63. Now measure 66, we're going to go open and then we have this. This is actually an A minor chord. If you think, here's D minor. Um, and we're just moving it up. So you have D, this would be D sharp, this would be E, this would be F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So this is an A minor chord. So plus the open five. And then half bar at five. A minor chord, hit the open six. Pinky goes down, open, half bar, and half bar again. So slowly, beginning to measure 66, it sounds like this. <laughs> 